Hello and welcome to the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page's 20p arcade challenge. This week I get to pick the game and I have chosen Afterburner 2. I can't believe this game is 30 years old. I remember playing it the first time like it was just yesterday. Walking into the arcade at this place called Beau Sejour, near where I live. And uh, seeing this gigantic cabinet which twisted and tilted and turned based upon the person inside its movements in the game. Seeing that with these big shiny flashing lights when you had a lock on your enemy. Oh, it's such, a, such an awe-inspiring thing to see as a kid. And then you step in the cabinet when it's your turn and you play. And you fall in love with the game as well. It's just absolutely an unforgettable thing. And I still love playing it to this day. I might not have the cockpit, and the analog stick controls might be a bit more twitchy than they used to be, because I'm using a controller rather than a flight stick. But I still love playing this game. I still love playing it. The intensity and excitement of this game. I don't think it's ever been matched, really, in, in, in terms of this kind of genre. You know. Um, and, of course, it came hot on the heels of the Top Gun movie. And this made you feel like you were a pilot in Top Gun. A badass, cool as anything pilot going at breakneck speeds. Uh, I just I just absolutely loved it. It poses quite a challenge as well. It's a tough game. There we go. I got clipped by a missile. It's a quarter muncher. They definitely got the money back from, from the expense of making the arcade cabinet, that was for sure. Okay, so we're down on life. Of course, Afterburner 1 and Afterburner 2 are fairly similar. The main difference with Afterburner 2 is you have a throttle which allows you to control your speed. And that's because some enemies creep up from behind and try and take you out. So you can speed up so that they try and catch you. And then slam on those brakes and then watch them pass you. And then you shove a rocket up their butthole. And <laughs> that is such a satisfying feeling to actually catch somebody out with that. It doesn't happen very often, but it's still great when it does happen. The main meat and potatoes of the game is dodging the incoming missiles, taking out the enemy ships before they take you out. And that, that gameplay mechanic on its own is enough to keep me hooked and coming back for more. And there's the end of my first credit, but I am going to come back for more. Wow. Do a barrel roll. Oh no, I got clipped! No! I thought I escaped that one, but I didn't. Okay, let's refuel. Hey, it's the guy from Hang On. Hello! Goodbye. No, it clipped me again. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no, I've got somebody chasing me. Bye. Oh, I got clipped. It doesn't matter anyway. But there we go. That's the end of my run. That's all my lives gone. So I made it to the very... Oh, no. I've still got one more life. Okay, I thought I was dead. And it looks like i got MiG-29s on my backside now. And it's game over. 
But there we have it, boys and girls. The end of my run. The high score of 314 3,141,240. That is my score to beat. How many enemies did I take out for that? So I hit 197 enemies to get that high score. So 197 enemy planes. 314240 is my score to beat. Anyway, guys, can you beat it? We shall find out. The deadline is tomorrow night. I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope you enjoy, most importantly of all, I hope you enjoy playing Afterburner 2 with me. In my opinion, it's an absolutely timeless classic that never gets old, always exciting, always fun, and I hope you've enjoyed playing it too. Comment down below what's until, your score. Yeah. All right, until next time, people. Bye for now.